One of the over 215 ethnic nationalities in Nigeria is located a few kilometers southeast of Port Harcourt, the capital of River State. The land falls within the rainforest belt but has a long coastal territory of brackish water in mangrove forest to its southern borders with Okrika communities. To the east is Thai local government area. Obia Paul local government area borders Eleme to the west, while Oyigbo shares its Lotan borders. With a population of about 300,000 people, based on projections from the 2006 census, Eleme covers an area of 138 square kilometers. It is inhabited by an indigenous population from ten clans, namely Ogale, Agbonchia, Aleto, Alesa, Alode, Akbaju, which makes up Nchia district, and Ebubu, One, Eporo, and Eteo that make up Odido district. Each of the clans is headed by a traditional ruler called Onee Eta. The traditional stool of the two districts of Nchia and Odido are occupied by second class chiefs. His Royal Highness Dr. Philip Obele JP is the Onee Nchia, while the latest Royal Highness Ubarowite Nchimuwi was the last occupant of the stool of the Onee Odido. The entire LMA kingdom is headed by a first class traditional ruler called Onee Eleme. The current Onee Eleme is His Royal Majesty, Sir Dr. Samuel Olukejire JP. The indigenous people of Eleme have a unique culture reflected in their language, family, and kingship systems. Christianity has since become the main religion of the people since the advent of the Europeans about 120 years ago. A lot of the people, however, still hold on to traditional ancestral worship. They are traditionally farmers. That means they depend on the land for their survival. In 1996, the regime of General Sani Abacha created the element local government area. However, the presence of the heavy industries and institutions in the area did not improve the living conditions of the people. It rather impacted negatively on their economies and social life. The people lost farmlands to the industries. Huge pollutions poisoned the remaining farmlands. Roads were destroyed and the rains became toxic. The young people as well as the older generations became stranded with limited gainful employment opportunities available to them in the industries. The people looked to heaven for help. It was in the midst of the apparent hopelessness of the communities that the federal government of Nigeria, through the Bureau of Republic Enterprises in 2006, put up LMA Petrochemicals Company Limited for privatization. The successful bidder for the company turned out to be Indrama Corporation. That piece of news turned around the fortunes of Okerewa, Aleto, Abonchia, Akbaju, 
Akbakpa, Njuru, and Wakawu communities that gave out more than a thousand hectares of their farmlands for the siting of the petrochemical plant. The communities were offered 7.5% of the equities of the company. This was quite an innovation in equity sharing in this part of the world. The sole aim of uh, giving 7.5% uh, uh, equity shares to the host community was for the community to partner in the development of its host communities. Indirama thought it wise and necessary to carry everybody along to ensure that the community owns these shares. Indorama gave a letter of confidence to Stambik IBDC to go ahead and borrow Elano investment 2.9 billion to 5 million for the acquisition of share with which they paid for the 7.5% in 2012. In accordance with best global practices and good corporate governance, the board of Elano Investments Limited appointed Stambik IBTC trustees limited as custodians of the dividends. Mrs. Binta Max Benije is the managing director of Stambik IBTC Trustees Limited. Um, a couple of years ago, we got the mandate to act as their trustees on this Elano Investment Trust, where we render the institutional trust service on behalf of the trust and on behalf of the Elano communities and so we receive all remittances due to the coast communities on behalf of Elano. We ensure an efficient distribution when those funds are received and we also manage um, very well whatever it is that is in store that we hold on to in the interest of the beneficiaries and for the good of the community. As again, I repeat, tell the community, go to bed. Your money is very safe. It's been handled properly with the highest levels of integrity. And even better than just holding your money, there's a good return on the investment for you as well. Following the successful acquisition of the shares, Elano was also mandated to manage the dividend agreeable to the host communities from their investments in Endorama EPL. The name Elano was taken from the names of several host communities of Endorama EL, Eleme, and Elelewon, A, Aleto, Apaju, Agbonchia, and Akpakpa. N Njuru and O Okerewa. Chief Gumba Okanje of Okerewa Community is the chairman of the board of directors of Elano Investments Limited. Through their visionary management style, Elano Investments Limited paid off the loan within the first year instead of the five years agreed with the creditors. The initial dividends from IEPL were used to pay off the loan obtained by Elano Investments Limited. This was the loan used to acquire the 375,000 equity shares offered by the Bureau for Public Enterprises BPE. The balance, after successfully offsetting the loans, was disbursed wholesale to members of the host communities who found some empowerment in the free money. Soon, the negative effect of such raw distribution of money began to creep in. The need to develop the host communities. In 2014 annual general meeting of the company, the shareholders mandated Elano Investments Limited to set aside a part of the annual dividends from which it will create a community development fund that will be used to execute capital projects that will impact the communities. To actualize the community development objectives mandated at the AGM of Elano, committees were created to design and execute the projects and programs. Within the short time that the committees began work, a number of achievements have been recorded. Infrastructure roads. Without roads, rural communities are extremely restricted. 
collecting water and firewood and going to local markets is a huge task. Therefore, it is understandable that the construction of roads is a major priority for the host communities. Elano Investments Limited has built over 15 kilometers of roads for Indrama Petrochemicals host communities. We are looking at whatever we are putting on ground as our own. And that's why we are doing it from the basis of uh, giving back what you have. Okrewa Wolu Road in Okrewa Community, Inyadi Road in Aleto Community, Nsiakukuri Road in Abonchia Community, and Okoha Rumodani Road in Elelumo have been completed. Others have reached advanced stage of completion while work is in progress on a few orders. In fact, by, by walking around this road, this road, all of us know the states. What it was before now, the Aleto uh, School Road, we all know the states before now. We all know the state of the Chief Wolo Krewa Road. We all know the state of Abonchia, uh, the Abonchia Craft Centre Road. All these roads, we are, we are nowhere near passage. Road. People are now busy building, building houses. No, of the truth, this road has been unapplicable, so bad. So the whole of the people that are applying here, running business on this road, in fact, their business was closed down. Because the road was very, very bad. Not every vehicle was able to enter the road now. But now you can see many vehicles is passing. Before now, this road is nothing, was nothing to write home about. You cannot even assess here. But God being on our side, Elano Investment Limited has been able to develop, rehabilitate this road, and today we are happy to pass through to assess this place. Especially this my front of my shop. Most of the people pass here, customers know they pass here. But since they walk this road, we thank God, see business is moving small, small, past before. Because formerly it was not like this, the road was so bad. So before, what I this road no good. Now the road is very normal. We the jolly for the road they pass. Ah, uh, okay. they don't do the road. The road they heavy. Mm -hmm. okay. Don't okay. let the people do that road. But today I can beat my child to say any kind of vehicle, any kind of truck can pass on that road, and uh, it gives access. It's a way of enhancing the uh, socio-economic activities of this area. Burn out of the company's resolve to cater for the healthcare needs of Indorama Holds communities and improve access to healthcare service by eliminating or significantly reducing out-of-pocket payments for healthcare services. Elano Investments Limited engaged the services of ProHealth HMO Limited to manage its hybrid community health insurance scheme, HCHIS. The hybrid community health insurance scheme is a health insurance program for a cohesive group of household individuals in Indrama host communities formed on the basis of the ethics of mutual aid and the collective pooling of health risk in which members take part in its management. The program was flagged off on April the 2nd, 2016. The comprehensive health care of a large investment limited has come to provide succor for our people who have never had the opportunity of accessing comprehensive health care. We've used um, hospitals of their choice at the LMI Axis to provide health care services to people in those areas and in those communities. As part of the program, 900 families have been enrolled and are currently enjoying the Elano Community Health Care Insurance Scheme. Honorable Fireman Olungwe is the head committee on comprehensive health, Elano Investments Limited. Elano is only complementing the efforts of social economic development of our people. And that is what we are doing right now. There are situations where you may not have the physical cash to pay and there's a health need 
but these have been taken out from the shoulders of our people as we are today you know over 900 families have the privilege of assessing quality health care um, with little or no inhibitions Elano just did what the community really needs most especially on health you know when you don't, when you don't have money and you are sick it's another problem some of them does not have money before but now even if you have ordinary malaria or small waist pain or headache, you just go there, they give you 100% attention without asking you for your dime. This medical facility is one of the best they have done so far. For an old man, the old age to benefit from this. And it has been an express. When they go to hospital, no question of any kind, they treat them free of charge. Uh, Lano have taken care of everything for the medical and what the bill? Because the bill now is supposed to be 300 or 250, as case may be. But now, Lano have take charge of everything. I at I be attending the antenatal free of charge. I thank God for Elano. Uh, my children we have been visiting uh, the the hospital St. Catherine's and uh, free of charge. As for me. It has been a very wonderful experience because all the t I wonder how I could have been able to foot the bill at St. Catherine. Education. As part of the company's human capital development program for the youths of the host communities of Indorama, Elano Investments Limited also engaged the services of Wider Perspectives Limited in management consulting firm to provide skills development programs for selected youths of Indrama LMA Petrochemicals Limited host communities. As a result, two institutions are currently being used for the program. They are University of Both Harcourt Center for Entrepreneurial Education, Both Harcourt, and the Maritime Academy of Nigeria, MAN, or grown in Aquabom State. At the University of Both Harcourt Center for Entrepreneurial Education, 12 women from the host communities are being trained in catering and hospitality management. We started with the hospitality management, the things you have to come across our relationship with people and how to handle our businesses. I think this program, I really think that this program will help me to be self-employed. It has really been a good experience. Today, I'm a better person than those out there. I'm, I am so amazed that Lano Investment Limited has gone this far as in taking people from the host community to help them. I will still encourage them to bring more persons. They shouldn't just end it. Elano has also sponsored 52 youths to the prestigious Maritime Academy of Nigeria, MAN, or RON Aquabum State, to study computer appreciation, Petroleum and diesel engineering, maintenance and electrical works. Um, I also take this opportunity to thank the chairman and the board of the Lando Investment Limited for having the confidence to choose Maritime Academy of Nigeria for this skills and position training. I want to appreciate my team in the management for the director of the Land Management and uh, also the management of my perspective for doing a wonderful job to me is the one group. As uh, you know, I can be able to design website for myself and for others. And uh, you know, by doing that, it will also put money in my pocket and put food on my table. And I'm so much impressed with what Elano has done. I came to this school, I've been seeing NDC students, no element persons inside. I've been seeing Niger Data students, no element persons. This is the first opportunity I'm seeing element students being trained. And we have so many industries around us. We are wilding away because we don't have certificates. I have been trained and been taught. I can dismantle an XUV engine. I can dismantle any kind of petrol and diesel engine. 
their capacity has been built in the sense that they now have a skill this skill will be used by them individually they can they can be entrepreneurs run their own businesses and implement these skills or they can be employed by companies in and around river state the successful graduates of the Elano Skills Acquisition Program are currently undergoing a five-day entrepreneurship training in Port Harcourt. Elano United Kingdom Scholarships. In a bid to provide the community youths with advanced entrepreneurial skills in critical thinking, decision-making, and the necessary manpower requirements valued by employers worldwide. Elano Investments Limited awarded scholarships to 12 scholars of Indurama host communities to study master's degrees in information technology, management sciences, and human resources, all tenable in various universities in the United Kingdom. The program is being managed by the British Council on behalf of Elano Investments Limited. The British Council is managing Elano Investment Limited's postgraduate scholarship scheme because of our reputation for delivering um, high quality scholarships and partnership brokerage in the area of higher education worldwide. For the Elano Investment Scholars, where they will be trained at the postgraduate level, they will get their master's degree in a number of subjects. They will develop their creative ability, they would have um, they would learn how to make critical decision making, they will have analytical thinking skills that are valued by employers world over so when they return they are more employable. Twelve of our children are in UK doing the postgraduate uh, studies. My experience in London has been a very wonderful one as I've learned a lot and I have improved in every area of my life. I have so much to take back home. I say thank you. Hello, my name is Ruben Ngofa from Alito Eleme. I'm currently in Coventry University, UK, pursuing my master's degree through the Elano Postgraduate Scholarship Scheme. I'm doing my master's in the University of Greenwich here in London. So far, so good. The studies has been very nice. The teachings and all that has been very lovely. And I want to thank Elano also for giving us the opportunity to get exposed and learn so much from outside the country. Professor Walter Olo is the chairman of the Education Committee of Elano Investments Limited. Security. Elano Investments Limited, in line with its corporate social responsibility projects, has made several security interventions to various security agencies in element local government area. Top on the list are the donation of pickup vans for security patrols to the Nigerian Police Force LMA Division, Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps, and the LMA Youth Council. A police station and barracks along Agbonchia Oyigbu Road is being constructed, among many other security measures. Estate Development Elano Investments Limited has also made investments through housing estate development in the acquisition of several properties in various parts of Nigeria. It is intended that these properties will generate additional income out of the traditional sources of dividend precepts. The purpose of this committee is to buy or acquire develop, manage and maintain estates, particularly landed estates all over the country, with a view of turning it into an investment that will yield uh, inflows to the host communities and the land in general. We've been able to invest in a whole lot that uh, we believe that in future we bring us some profit so that if we are not getting anything from the source now we can on our own get some fund from our investment. Elano also extended its intervention to the Aletu Aziz of the old Pothakot Bori Road which it saved from Perino flooding and got it back to use. But before this time uh, this place, this road was a no-go area. It was flooded during the rainy season. 
and affected many business, even passerby, even vehicle, no one can pass easily. So we said that they have done a lot, and uh, if chance is given to them, or if they will be mobilized to do more, I, will, I think they will do something that is more better than this. We are entirely out of business to listen that people were asking me, what are we doing here? Can't we relocate? With intervention of a land no assignment to understand, we are relieved. With things looking up again, Elano Investments Limited came to the aid of the LMA Football Council by sponsoring the second edition of LMA Football Champions League. Elano has brought the youth together and they have engaged themselves every evening coming to watch football going on in Ascension High School. LMA Football Council are indebted to Elano Investment Limited. Plan of Elano for the host communities were something that we bring maybe a development as a whole. That apart, Elano has sent some people to overseas for training on scholarship. Some also to Uniport on Elano scholarship. Son to Oron on scholarship and a lot more. We are very proud of the Elano Investment Limited. They are doing a great thing in our community and they are bringing more development in our community. Of our youth, their parents are not able to cut off with their education. They are giving scholarship to the youth. Great Elano youth bringing development to our seen a lot of development, both self-development and community development. If you are not among those who are performing and you feel that you are not there, you can make any allegation against people. But we the indigenous, we have not found any person wanting. By the road project, you can see this. This is a free medical care done by the, that same Leno. If you have this card, you walk to your clinic, you are treated free. This road is one of the testimonies of Elano. If we if Elano, if we allow Elano in the next 10 years, the host community will be developed in terms of infrastructure and the human capacity uh, development. I'm aware that uh, Elano is also training some persons in the scholarship, giving scholarship to some uh, uh, host community students abroad. I, I think you can always project when you look at when we started and what we have done so far and multiply it by five ten years and we are steadily moving on you know where we are going we are on course we are on track we are moving ahead the board and members of the Lano Investments Limited cannot achieve the envisaged development of the host communities all alone. It has so far enjoyed enormous support and encouragement from the host communities and relevant stakeholders in the areas it has recorded achievements. To climb further, Elano Investments Limited still needs stronger support and a hand of fellowship from its critical partners. The advantage of working together are far more beneficial than antagonizing the efforts of the company. Elano Investments Limited. Together, we shall bring development to our people.